Well guys, at this point in the year, a lot of you have been out in the yard all summer long, practicing, getting your bow sighted in, maybe you went to a 3D shoot or something like that. But now it's almost hunting season and it's time to put our broadheads on. Start screwing them onto your arrows. Hopefully your, your bow's already sighted in. And basically what you're gonna wanna do now, since your broadheads might fly a little bit differently than your field points, is you're gonna wanna take every one of your arrows, screw a broadhead on it. If it shoots good, hits right where you're aiming, put that in the good pile. And then some of your arrows might not fly perfectly with the broadhead on it. And that's, those are just arrows maybe you're gonna wanna save for practice, but basically the most important thing is, is making sure every arrow that you're taking to the field shoots really well with the broadhead. That way you hit exactly where you're aiming. Yeah, and it, when you're practicing with broadheads, make sure that you're shooting them into the correct target because a lot of the targets that you're going to be practicing with with your field points aren't suitable for broadhead yep. so make sure not to shoot them into a target that's only meant for another thing points. is just use the same one broadhead a lot of times broadheads come in a packet of three just take the same broadhead off and put it on all your different arrows that way you have two broadheads that are still sh sharp right like they were right out of the package you don't want to be shooting all your broadheads into a target otherwise they're not going to be really sharp when you go to the yeah, field. Yeah, that's a big key. You gotta make sure your broadheads are sharp. Some fixed blades or cut on contact broadheads, you can shoot and then resharpen. Doesn't matter, you can shoot mechanicals or fixed heads. Both of them will work. And as, as far as your practice goes, there's other things you can do right there at home as you're leading into hunting season to prepare you for a shot opportunity. What we like to do is we'll put a tree stand up in the yard. We'll get down in a crouching position, practice like that. A lot of times we're getting in a position and we're shooting one arrow because that's realistically what you're going to have. Yep, that when, first shot is the one you really want to make count because that's what you're going to be doing when you go to the woods. Just focus on making that first shot a really good one. And the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go get your hunting license and that can vary from state to state. So if you don't know exactly what you need, you can either find it online usually or you can just call someone like with the local DNR and they'll tell you exactly what you need to be legal in the field this fall. I want to also mention we're hunting public land a lot of times and we're traveling state to state constantly have to find new places to hunt and if you're going into the season that's something you need to be thinking about right now it's like where you're going to go hunting and the good thing is there's a lot of resources out there to find places to hunt there is a lot of the state agencies have maps that will show you different public areas we use the onyx hunt app a lot mm -hmm. which shows you like private ownership public land access areas yep. It's a very good tool to use if you're looking for places to hunt. Now is the time when you want to be doing that. And after all that, hopefully you're going to harvest a deer this fall. And it's good to know what you're going to do next. And there's a couple different avenues that you can go as far as deer processing. You can learn how to do it yourself. There's a lot of videos out there online or ways that you can read up on how to do that. Or there's a lot of places out there that you can take your deer to get it processed. But you're going to want to make sure you have that figured out ahead of time just so. When you shoot a deer, you know exactly what to do with it. Mm -hmm. That way you get all that delicious meat and none of it goes to waste. That's right. Hopefully a few of those tips help. Get out in the woods.